Hello, welcome to Maths with Jay. So here we're integrating a double integral where we need to integrate the inner integral first of all. And once we've done that, then we'll have an ordinary integral with respect to x. So let's first of all have a look at how we make a start on this. Um, shall we put the inner one in brackets just to highlight it first of all? So the integral we're concentrating on is the integral with respect to y. Now you can see that it's got an x in it, but what we'll do is we're going to consider anything in terms of x as a constant. So it's a bit like partial differentiation. So what we're really doing is doing partial integration. So we're thinking of x as being fixed and y as being the variable. So initially we're leaving the external integral, the x being between 0 and 2, and we're integrating the internal part. So to start with, we're integrating 4. So integrating a constant straightforward, we multiply 4 by y because we're integrating with respect to y. Then we've got to look at the minus x squared. So x squared is just like a constant. So when we're integrating with respect to y, we're just going to get x squared y. The next part is straightforward. Integrating y squared with respect to y will be y cubed over 3. And then our limits on that integral, and I don't need to hopefully put y equals anymore. It will be obvious that it's y. And then once we've worked that out, remember that's all part of the integral, integral with respect to x. So substituting in the limits, we put the 2 in first of all, so we've got 4 times 2 minus, well y is 2 and we still have x squared in there, that isn't going to change at the moment, we're just substituting in y and then we've got 2 cubed over 3, so that's substituting in the top limit and then the bottom one is minus 2 so we're going to get 4 times minus 2 and then minus x squared times negative 2. So that will be plus 2x squared. And then we'll have negative 2 cubed and there's a minus in there. So that will end up being plus 2 cubed over 3. and then we still want our dx in there. So tidying that lot up, what have we got? Well, we've got four twos at eight, and then we're taking away eight thirds in the first bracket. In the second bracket, we've got a negative eight and a plus eight thirds. So gathering that lot all up together, we will have eight and eight will be 16, and then we're taking away two lots of 8 over 3, so we end up with 48 minus 16 all over 3, so that will be 32 over 3. So that's the constant part there. And then we're taking away 2x squared twice, so we've got minus 4x squared. So now we've got a straightforward single integral to deal with. We've got no y's left, everything is in terms of x. So we don't really need to have x equals at the bottom of the integral. So let's just rub that out. So now we've got a very straightforward integral to do here. We've got 32 over 3, multiplying our x, and then integrating x squared, we'll get 4 times x cubed over 3, and that will be between 0 and 2. So we end up with 32 times 2 over 3 minus 4 times 2 cubed, so 4 times 8 also over 3. So 32 times 2 minus 32 is 32, so that's 32 over 3. Now you might have wondered why we did the integral this way round, why we had the dy before the dx. 
Well, we could swap the order of integration here. So we could have the integration with respect to x first of all in, as our inner integral. And of course, we need to make sure we've got our integral for x, x equals 0 to 2, inside as well. So we'll have a look at that in our next video.